Hello and welcome. In this video we're talking about the additive identity property. Kind of a scary phrase there, but let's break it down. With additive, that means you're dealing with addition. Identity, think about your own identity, about who you are. So here we're keeping the identity of a number and we're adding with it. So in general, uh, when we're adding, uh, zero is called the identity element. Element is a th uh, uh, an object, let's say, in a set. Or in other words, a number in this case here. So zero is the identity element. In other words, zero has no impact on six, right? You know this, six plus zero is still six. And the fact that you can add zero to anything, any number, and not change the value, that's the additive identity property. What are the other examples here? Well here, negative uh, six plus six, those are opposites, um, and they add to the zero. This is the idea of the additive inverse. If you add two things and you get zero, that's the additive inverse. Here, this is the all right, DP, distributed property over addition, right? In other words, we're multiplying four by both six and three, which are being added. Here, in this case, we have four plus six plus three, which is 10 plus three, or 13, is equal to four plus nine, which, or four plus six plus three, or four plus nine, which is also 13. Here, the terms four, six, and three, they appear in the same order. If we were changing the order, that would be the commutative property, but here we're grouping the numbers in different way, or associating them in different way. So this is called the associative, associative property of addition. Right, we're group numbers without with addition without changing the total sum. Thanks.